Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Let's solve this problem. Maximize total cost of alternating subarrays from the weekly contest 403. Frankly speaking, I was not able to solve this problem in the contest and it feels very demotivating because after practicing this many long years, if you are unable to solve the medium type of problems, it feels very bad from inside. So I felt very bad and after the contest with my fresh mind, I have tried it again and I was able to solve it. So you have good times and then you will get a bad time then you, you will have bad times then the good times will come so please don't get demotivated so if you are feeling sad feel sad then come back stronger so i recommend you so if you have tried in the contest if you are unable to solve please go and give it a try and if you still if you are unable to solve it then you can come and watch the video solutions so that is the best way to learn you should learn from your mistakes so first we'll understand the problem clearly then we will see the various approaches to solve these type of problems now here you are given an integer array numbers with length n with length n the cost of a sub array nums of l comma 0 is defined as l minus l plus 1 plus so it's like alternating it's like alternating suppose you have a b c d e f as my sub array so if you are taking a b c as my one sub array it will be a minus b plus c if you are taking d e it will be d minus c if you are taking f it will be f right you should not think like in terms of numbers because you will be confused because it will be plus minus plus minus you will be confused so it's, it's better to think in terms of variables now your task is to split numbers into sub arrays such that total cost of the sub arrays is maximized so you can split in any ways right you can split in this way or you can split a b c d e f and you can split you can split like this anything you can do so it, if you split like this it will be a minus b and c minus d plus e minus f so alternating first place then minus first place then minus because you are given here formally if num is split into k sub arrays it index so this is the cost is saying so this will be my cost return an integer denoting the maximum total cost of the sub arrays after splitting the array optimally after splitting it optimally you want the maximum cost so understanding the question was a bit tough but i think you understood what exactly we need to do they will give some variables we need to split it and you have to perform these operations so alternating like plus minus plus minus plus minus so if nums is not split into numbers then this it is 0 comma n minus 1 if k is equal to 1 directly i will do a plus b minus c plus d minus e like this right now let's understand this example we have these numbers so he had break down into these two sub arrays so if, if you see this is 1 minus of minus 2 plus 3 this will be my 1 sub array and 3 will be my 1 sub array so if you see here if you calculate it my sum got 10 now try to separate in different way now let's consider i will i will do this type of segregation if you see 1 minus of minus 2 is fine then you are doing 3 minus 4 3 minus 4 it is minus 1 it is 3 so you are getting 2 so you need to make it as optimal as possible same thing you can do with example 2 and example 3 so first i have seen the constraints it's told like 10 power 5 so i thought 10 power 5 then try different type of greedy approaches but i have tried various number of greedy approaches and i failed but you should not tempt with the constraints definitely should not tempt with the constraints because today i was tempted because if you see 10 power 3 then you will think from the dp terms but if you see 10 power 5 you will say dp is not even possible but i was completely wrong now let's understand this how you can solve this consider consider anything like consider these are my elements a b c d e f so Consider in terms of variables, not in terms of numbers, because if you think in terms of numbers, you will get confused. Because mm, you will get confused. Now, greedy will fail because you don't, you can't able to separate it. If, because if you want to separate, still you will face the issues. Because first element I need to consider. First element definitely you need to consider. Then for the next element, you need to think. Uh, next element, if you are considering first element, this can be my you should include in the first element or you can exclude and you can start freshly same thing applies here same thing it will go in this way because you got different probabilities so you can't solve it in a greedy way now what i will do is in my first step i got i got this as my numbers <coughs> i got this first number is always included right 
first number is always included so what what i will do is first number i will add it first a will be added a will be added first number is always included mm. first number will always include now you are at this index you are at this index you are at this index you have two possibilities you can include in a or you can start freshly you can start freshly if you are including in a if you are including in this it will be minus b it will be minus b if you are starting fresh if you are starting fresh it will be a comma a comma b a comma b because a is my a is my one sub array and b is my another sub array now you got till b now you you are at c now you are at c you got two possibilities for c you can you can include in this if you are including this it will be plus c or you can start c as a fresh sub array so it will be or else it will be a minus b comma c because c i am starting as new sub array i am starting as new sub array now in this case it will it will be a comma if you are including in b it will be b minus c right b minus c or else it comma a comma b comma c all will be my different sub arrays so in this way you can see the different probabilities you can see the different probabilities now i'll try to explain how exactly we are doing now we are at a we are at a we we are at we got two positions so i will use some f as is my flag so if you are taking f so for this f is equals to 0 if is equals if i will say i have two possibilities and if it is f is equals to 1 i'll think about one more solution now if it f is equals to 0 if f is equals to 0 i can include in b i can include in a i can include in a so i am not changing any sign i am not changing any sign i am moving as it is i am including in a if if i am not including in a if i am not i am starting it fresh if i am starting it fresh so it will be comma 0 comma 0 b b will be my fresh now i will try to uh, explain you in terms of coding part because it will be very much easy now first i will take v of 0 v of 0 will be my first element solve i am going 1 0 in comma v 1 is my index 0 is my flag in the first time we have this value say b c d e f g now a is equals to if you are starting fresh right if you are i have included a and if you are starting b as your fresh value as your fresh value so b will be go b will be going b will be going with zero and if i want to include it in a if i want to include it in a what i can do is i need to subtract it a minus b right i have changed this sign i have changed this sign i have changed this sign so it will be a minus b a minus b so because we are subtracting it so after changing the sign after changing the sign you are you are left with only one choice you are left with only choice because you take c you need to take c you can't change the sign of c now if you are going with this if you are if you are at a if you are taking b directly if you are taking b directly then for c you have two choice two choices whether i can include in this or else i will start fresh but but if you are going with this a minus b only one sign can be changed a minus b and c can't be changed c can't be changed because if a minus b you have included in b a minus b now for c for c you need to you need to add it you can't change the sign so it's simple first time a is equals to v of i plus solve i plus 1 uh, flag flag is 0 because you have two possibilities when you are including it when you are exclude when you are changing the sign now if you are saying a b c d if you are ch uh, changing the b sign you can't change the c sign right you can't change the c sign so it will be only a plus b you can't change this c sign you can't make it minus that's why we are making it we will sending it it one so next time it will come here it will be c will be my fresh value and it will send with zero because next sign you can you it can be anything i can change the sign or i can start it freshly i can start it freshly so this will be my solution so i think you have got it i have tried my level best to explain you this in a best possible way
so if i unable to explain you this solution i am really sorry for that now this will be my this will be my solve function now how many parameters are changing only i and f are changing so i will use dp of n comma flag n comma flag n comma flag so this will be my 0 or 1 this will be my 0 or 1 and this will be my n so only two values are changing changing so we are using dp n long long 2 v of 0 and we are using we are storing it in dp and if you are not equals to minus 1 we are directly retaining it if you see my space time is n in n n into 2 and we are using extra space it will be n into 2 uh, and you can perform different type of optimization you can come up with a tabulation approach and you can do space optimization we will see all those in the coming next videos so i think you have learned something new from this video so if you learn something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i will see you in the next video till then bye bye